Hello my friends and welcome back. Uh, or if you're new here, welcome anyway. So you've seen a couple of reviews that I've done on TID radios on the H8 model, which I kind of really like. But more importantly, I'm really starting to like the company TID radio because they do listen to users and they do make a lot of improvements uh, and produce better products for us to use. Um, so TID Radio sent me a new radio to review. The new baby brother to the H8, the H3. So the H3 is TID Radio's newest little radio with a full color screen and a lot of fantastic features in a super tiny small format that you can really tuck into your pocket and forget it's even there. So let's take a look at it. So right now the H3 is in fact such a small size that I was comparing it to the UV5R and it's actually even a little bit smaller than UV5R but with a lot more features to it. So let's go over some of these features. Uh, first off, it's a color screen. It's a full color screen, just like the Big Brother H8, which is very, very nice because nowadays we're all kind of like getting used to the color screens and are demanding for color screens. Um, another nice feature about it is it actually has Bluetooth uh, capable programming, which means you can hook it up to the Oddmaster app on your phone and you can program this without hooking it up to your computer or laptop. That's another nice feature because you can always make changes as you go. Um, like all TID radios, this comes with uh, different capabilities. It could be a GMRS radio, it could be a ham radio. Uh, you would be able to unlock it pretty much like you do the H8. See other videos for that. I'll have a link to my H8 reviews. But look on YouTube, you can find a lot of uh, reviews on how to do that. Um, some of the nicer features again, this one actually has the ability, of course, to uh, listen to two different bands at the same time, but you can also transmit on two different bands. So you can use either one of these buttons to transmit on channel A or channel B without having to switch and go from one channel to the other, which is really not that hard to do anyway. Now, there is another fantastic plus to this radio. This radio, of course, does have a USB chargeable battery. Like most newer radios, you can charge it through the USB port, so it's a USB-C, which means that you can charge this on the fly in your car from a power bank or something like that, which gives it that extra feature. But you can go here to the programming where you have the standard K1 connection with a dual pin to connect. That's a standard cable that you use for Kenwood or Baofangs or whatever. But, looky here, there's a USB-C port on the radio, and that one is not for charging. That one is actually for programming. You can now actually program this radio with your standard USB-C cable without having to get the particular cable or the K1 cable. If you don't have one, you can just go right ahead and program it with the standard USB-C cable. That in itself is an amazing feature on this radio. It's a very nice little radio. It has incredible feel to it. It's very light. It is small but very solid and robust. Again, this comes with an FCC rating on it. I don't know. I don't deal with that. I don't endorse or condone or condemn anything you do. You're on your own. You're adults. So deal with it. Uh, this battery does say it's a 2600 milliamp hour battery. Uh, it could be. It's a fairly chunky battery. I don't have any way to test that actually. But I have left the radio on for a while and it will stay on and not have an issue. Um, you can also do all sorts of programming to this like most of the newer TID radios and quality radios. You can actually upgrade the firmware, and TID Radio has been very good about updating firmware, making it available, um, so that anytime there's a correction or something, or if there's an issue, and they're very open to communication. I mean, I've contacted them several times, they'll always respond. Uh, if there's something and I give them a suggestion, they'll work on it, they'll research it, 
they do make corrections to a lot of things. I've seen it on the H8. They've done many things. They've changed a lot of firmware revisions on this and improved it tremendously to now where it's a very good radio. Um, and I'm, they're doing the same thing pretty much with the H3. Now, um, there are a couple of things that I'm not too keen on as far as this radio is concerned, and I've approached TID Radio about it. There's not much that they can do about it at this point. However, I do want to bring it up uh, so that you're aware of it. One, you notice there's a lack of uh, functionality buttons on this radio. The buttons are kind of small. It is a small form radio. So if your hands, I don't have very big hands, but even then, it's kind of those buttons are a little bit tiny to kind of push around. The other thing is, there's only two additional buttons to change between memory and VFO mode, and then the Bluetooth and the menu button. So if you hit it, it'll go to menu, but if you push it really hard and keep pressing it, it'll work the Bluetooth. So what they've done is they've combined a lot of these things on these two little buttons. And you got the up and down. There are no additional buttons like they had on different ones where you could switch between A and B and so on and so forth. So these two buttons are going to do most of the work. So you're going to have to shift and get used to it. The other thing that I don't particularly like about this radio, and that's been an annoyance of mine with most radios that I have, even though this has a beautiful color screen, the keypad is not illuminated. Which means that in the dark, you really don't have very much access to this keypad. You're going to need a flashlight or something. Now, yes, there is a flashlight on top right here, but you're going to have to shine it and reflect it on something in order to see the buttons so you can press them. That is probably one of the things I do not like about this. I love everything else about it. I love the form factor. I love the color screen. Um, I love the functionality. Oh, and guess what? It does air band. Yes, this radio has airband in addition to everything else. Because we had mentioned airband on the H8. A lot of reviewers, along my, with myself, had uh, contacted TID Radio and said, you know, airband would be great. So what they did is they provided airband on this small form factor radio. So yeah, it's great. It's a nice little radio. Super features. If you can just do with a couple of things, like the smaller buttons and the fact that the pad is not illuminated, it's an, it's an amazing radio. Um, it, it's a great step up from the H8. Super functionality. I've had it on for days and the battery just lasted and lasted. So, H3. Link below. If you use my link directly from TID Radio, you could get an additional discount. Uh, or you could get it from my affiliate link on Amazon. Either way, it's a winner of a radio. I highly recommend it, and I definitely, definitely recommend TID Radio. Now, I already mentioned this, and I will say it again. TID Radio did send me this radio for review, so I did not buy it. However, they have nothing on what I do or what I say in my reviews. Whether it's positive or negative, I don't care. I say it. I am under no commitment to TID or anybody else to say anything particular. So I tell it like it is. I tell it how I see it. Do I like it? I love it. I think it's great. I told you what my pet peeves are, but otherwise, I think this is a fantastic little radio. Super nice to throw in my pocket, walk around. It's got air band. I listen to air pour it all the time. It's a lot of fun. So, you want to get one? Take one of the links and get one and enjoy it as much as I do. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. If you like this video, leave a like. You're welcome to buy me a coffee to thank me or super thanks underneath somewhere down here in the comments. Um, hey, thanks for watching.